All right, Eagles fans, get ready to ramp it up. What's going on, folks? This is Coach Marcus for Pro Fan Talk. This week, your Eagles and everybody else in the league, the safeties come off putting pads on this week. So we get a little bit closer. We get one step closer to seeing what's what. So all of this speed and and strength and beating double teams and things of that nature that you've been hearing from some of these rookies, now it ramps up a notch. Now you take it up another level because it's easy to do that in shorts and shoulder pads. Not even shoulder pads and just helmets and jersey, helmets and shorts, nothing else. Putting on pads, you up the level of difficulty just a smidge. If Jalen Carter is still beating double teams with pads on, Now you take notice. The Hall of Fame game is going to be this week. So essentially, that's going to be the first preseason game. That's when you just unhook the leash and just let it go. So now you're going to be able to really see what's what. It makes a difference when you do have shoulder pads on. Wide receivers don't wear pants anyway. But you get a little bit more sense of the physicality and how your body moves and how you be able to handle somebody if you're on defense. If you're a DB, when you jam somebody up, how does that feel? When you got the pads up here, it's a little different feeling. When you're not wearing shoulder pads, it's my opinion that the wide receivers have a little bit of an advantage because it's easier for them to slip up off. It's easy for them to get the hand movements and get a little bit of that, um, you know, that hand job going and smacking guys off. It's easier to do that. When you have pads on, it's a little bit easier for the defenders to get into your pad. If you play football, you wear the shoulder pads, you got the things that hold down right there. So you got a little bit of gap plus underneath the arms where people, especially if somebody jams you, Eric Allen taught me this one time because he did it to me once. Where they jam you like from right here to right here. If they jam you right there, first thing's going to happen. If you're not ready for it, you're going to go back and your head's going to drop. As soon as your head drops, they got you. Also, if they hit you from one side to another and it affects your rhythm coming off the ball because it's very difficult to run off the ball when you're like that or they affect the other leg. And don't think that DBs don't study that. You look at wide receivers when they line up. Which foot is forward? Wide receivers, running backs, quarterbacks, everybody has a tail. Defensive linemen, defensive ends, rush edges, everybody's got a tail. We used to look at Micah Parsons. Uh, we always knew watch by watching film, if he was coming, his hand was on his, his side. And you could, now it might not be 100% of the time, but you could get those tails and you can look at players and kind of get a gist of what they're going to do based on those little idiosyncrasies that you see and you study. Why do you think uh, running backs started wearing the shaded masks on the helmet. So the linebackers couldn't read their eyes because as a running back, I can tell you the first thing you want to do is you scan the field, but you know where you're looking at. So even though you're looking this way, a lot of times you're looking back, you give yourself up when you're running the ball because you're trying to see who's lined up against that tackle or that guard. Or if your guard is pulling, different things like that. Everybody's got to tell. So you start wearing those dark visors under your helmet. They can't see your eyes. So it's a little bit easier. So everybody's got to tell. That comes into play a little bit more when you put the pads on. So if Nolan Smith is still beating our offensive tackles off the line and getting to the quarterback and causing havoc and causing chaos back there, that's what I want to see. Now it matters more because now you got the pads on. Now it's not two-hand touch and pushing. Now you got the pads on. If Jalen Carter is still beating those double teams with pads on, now it means something. Because people are really putting their strength and their weight on you. And now they got something to grab onto. You talking about pad control. I talked about this in the, in the previous video. When offensive linemen can get their hands on you, you can get that pad control. They can push you. And when an offensive lineman extends his arms, you ain't going nowhere. They got you locked up and then they can control you because they can, you know, they can do like that and they can turn your body. They can turn your body. They can control. You. Now it's getting ramped up another level. And now it matters a little bit more. So I like to see when people get excited. Now is, now is the week to get excited. When somebody takes the top off the defense, cornerback or a safety gets a pick or a pass breakup, Nolan Smith or Hassan Reddick get to Jalen Hurts. Now it matters. This week will be a much more true to life version of what you're going to see in the season. This week, now you start taking notice. Who does it with the pads on? This is the week to do it. As usual, if you love the content, please hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and I will see you in the next play. Peace.